Hey guys, how you doing? Andre again. Uh, well, this video is to uh, show you another upgrade to, the, to, to that I did to this machine, and uh, and I hope you guys this video, sorry, I hope you guys learn from my mistakes. Uh, I had I made a few mistakes when I was uh, retrofitting this machine. Uh, one of them was, like I said before, <laughs> I never painted the the control cabinet back there. Another one was uh, I tried to use the factory or stock uh, spindle motor and drive, which it worked good for, for a few days. And then I wasted all the time and money on the car that controlling that, but uh, it just didn't do it right. I mean, it didn't last pretty much. It was doing it right, but it didn't last. So I end, I end up just buying a spindle, brand new spindle motor and drive and all that, and you, you've seen it. Well, anyway, the other upgrade on it is uh, things that I regret and I'm trying to fix now is uh is the upgrade I did today is the a gear uh gearbox for the carousel motor. So the carousel was running a one to one ratio and I went ahead and bought this uh gearbox it's a five to one gear ratio. I will say you can get away with three to one but I went ahead and got me a five to one which is same price pretty much and uh it don't matter and they're not high at all and i was able to get the machine going faster on the carousel on the two change so when it was one to one i was able to go this fast but with no tools on the carousel so when i start putting weight on over the carousel i will be i will trigger the alarm on my servo overloading and stuff like that the stepper was not able to keep up with all that load on it so that's the reason i ordered this uh gearbox and it's a good upgrade so if you're ever gonna do that either you get you a bigger motor or make sure you get a uh a gearbox for your stepper motor that you're gonna run on it besides the factory motor that was there it had a gearbox in it so it was uh i think a 10 to 1 or whatever uh three-phase motor anyway let me see it try to shoot the tool change right here uh, i'm going i'm in position one i'm gonna go with position number six well you said it's 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 fast i mean faster uh position one Position one, let's go number two. <sighs> number one again. So you see this, it's a bit faster than what it was. I'm happy with it. My stepper closed loop stepper whatever it's not overloading anymore at that speed even the i got all my tools on the carousel now and i might put a bigger tool maybe a three inch or end mill or something like that and it'd be maybe too heavy the other thing is uh if i ever build another machine like this i'm definitely gonna get me a faster stronger c-axis motor uh I believe I can go really fast with this Z-axis, the way my orientation is being done right now and how quick the macro is. Uh, I got the same motor on all, all of the four axes. Um, the Z-axis is a regular uh, NEMA 34 and it does good, but I wish I can go faster. And now it's just doing 150 inches a minute. And I got to set it that. I can maybe go a little bit higher but when I have tried to go 250 inches a minute, it will trip my uh, drive because I don't know if you know, there's a fork that uh, unloads the tool on the carousel when it go, it's going up. And it's, it's got some kind of cam deal that when it touches on that cam, it's really heavy, it's really strong. And so it's kind of heavy for that uh, NEMA 34 motor. So 
if I will ever build another one, I will definitely go bigger, way bigger on the B on the C uh, on the C axis over there, so I can get my tool change even quicker than that, which is fine for what I do. But I'm just saying, uh, learn from my mistakes, go bigger on the C axis motor, and put a gear on your carousel. Do not use the stock spindle motor like I did, and I don't know, a few other things that they will probably come up later. Thank you so much and have a good night.